All right, let me see what these uh, Rush reactors are up to these days. Let's see what song they're going to re respond to, react to this time. All right, uh, Tom Sawyer, typical. No, no, not that version. It brings me great joy to see how many new Rush fans are coming on to the Rush Army, we're going to call it, Russians, you know, whatever, the, whatever the group is we want to call it. But I'm very, you know, it's pretty cool to see that after all these years, it feels like the Rush fans that have been Rush fans for decades are like, they're feeling redeemed. Like, you know, now people are seeing how great this, uh, this band really is. And a whole new generation of Rush fans are coming, are coming on, um, com are coming on board. And they're doing a lot of reactions to Rush songs, which is pretty cool to see. It's the new generation, all these young kids, that they're really digging it. They're like, they even liking Getty's voice. <laughs> it used to be that back in the day, there was a lot of criticism about Getty's voice. But I think it was more, and I think it's been touched upon, that it's been more, more like a critic just wanting to make a name for themselves. And they just pick out something that they heard someone else pick out as far as not being good. Namely, Getty's voice, and they just pick at it. But, um, yeah. Uh, Getty's voice is pretty unique. I've discussed that in a previous video and um, a lot of things are unique about this three-piece band. I think mainly it's because they're a three-piece band that people are so amazed at how much sound they can produce and how much multitasking these guys do, all three of them, uh, that they're multitasking and just getting the job done, just sounding like more than three guys. So it's been pretty cool to see that. Rush has over 170 songs, but I don't know, 174. I don't know what the exact number is, just a lot. And not only that, there's a lot of versions of a lot of those songs. So when I go to check YouTube and see any new reactions for Rush songs, because I find them pretty entertaining, um, I check to see what version of the song they react to. And sometimes they're right on the mark, but other times I'm like, oh, not that one for various reasons. So I've seen enough of this to be like, okay, that's enough. So I'm going to pick 10 songs, 10 songs that are pretty much, that pretty much get reacted to on a regular basis. Just 10, because like I said, there's over 170 songs and you know, maybe I'll do another video of another 10 songs, but these are the 10 songs that are typically most reacted to. And I'm going to tell all you reactors out there, if you're searching for a Rush song to react to, I'm going to tell you which version that you should react to first. And the links to each of those versions of those Rush songs will be in the description below. And for all of you Rush fans that watch this, um, I invite you to participate in this as well. If you don't, if you don't agree with the version that I recommend, Put it down in the comments and t say why you think it's this version that I think you should react to first. But in any case, I've stipulated a few, a few uh, qualifications for these reactions. First of all, um, I'm going to recommend a version of a song to react to that I think if they've never heard or seen the song before in a video, which should be the first version they should react to. It's not necessarily going to be the best version of the song. It may be, and I'll, I'll say it if it is. But as far as exposing the new Rush fan to the song for the first time, I'm going to list which version of the song it should be. And, you know, obviously, if they want to see other versions of the song, they can obviously search for those and see them because each of these songs has their own personality and each version of the song also has its own personality. And I think it's just as been mentioned by many of these new reactors to Rush fans. They're like, oh no, I'm going down a rabbit hole now. Yes. Not only for each song, but each ver uh, but different versions of the same song they'll be, they'll be watching and hearing. So it'll be pretty exciting. So what are my uh, qualifications? What am I, what do I, what do these songs need to be so that the first reaction will be a great reaction? Well, it basically boils down to really one criteria is that the song needs to sound clear. Everything needs to be clear about the song. The instrumentation, the instruments need to be clear in the in the song. And also the, you know, each musician needs to stand out, right? You should be able to hear what each one is doing. But also the vocals need to stand out. And, you know, this, there's some muddy live versions where Giddy Lee's voice, uh, it, it doesn't sound that good or... He didn't sing it that good <laughs> because in later, later, later tours, his voice wasn't as good as when he was a younger man. So 
most of those will be excluded. Because again, we're talking about the initial impression, first first impression, reaction to a Rush song. And we want it to be the best impression. We want it to be the best version of the song. And then they can go off on a tangent for the other versions. So it has to be clear. And it could be a live version. You'll see. Um, but a lot of times it's a studio version. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that I'm not going to recommend any lyrical videos. You know, videos with the lyrics. As much as the lyrics are an important part of the band and what they are, I think that can be left for another listen. Uh, if they like the song... You know, they because it it's about to me. I think the focus should be firstly about the musicians themselves, how they present, and you know the lyrics will be taken care of by Getty's vocals, right? If they're clear enough, they'll be able to hear it, and you know then if they want to see afterwards specifically what the lyrics are, uh, the reactor can do that. Okay, so here we go. Here are ten Rush songs that if a Rush if a reactor is going to react to them, these should be the versions of the songs that they should react to first. And these are in no particular order. The first song we're going to talk a little bit about is Tom Sawyer. <laughs> I said we're not going to go in a particular order, but that's probably the most famous song. Um, Tom Sawyer, there's a lot of versions of that song out there, a lot of great versions, but I think a first-time Rush reactor needs to watch the studio video version, the original version from the studio as they recorded it uh, in the studio, that video arguably is the best version of that song you know even with all of the live versions that they've done uh with that song and they've played that song in every tour since you know from moving pictures forward which it appeared in 1981 and there are some live versions that probably are as good but this video shows them playing the song the original song in the studio and it's remark it's a it's a sight to behold it's a great video so as far as tom sawyer goes the first version to react to should be the studio video version. Next song I'm going to talk about is Limelight. Limelight is also from Moving Pictures, 1981, just like Tom Sawyer is. And I think the best version of Limelight, well, I'm not going to say the best version of Limelight. I'm going to say the best version that a YouTuber should react to first should also be the studio video version. And I do have a favorite version of that song. It's not this one, uh, but it's th the studio video version. And like I said, the links will be below. This version is the best one to introduce someone to this song for the first time. Again, it just shows, shows them in the studio. Th this is the actual recording that uh, appears uh, uh, in the studio moving pictures album. And it, they're having fun playing it. Um, is smiling and they're doing their thing and you know Alex Lifeson one of the, his favorite and best guitar solos of, of all the catalog so it's it's fun and it's a great way to introduce someone uh, to Limelight the studio video version next uh, a song that's pretty popular to react to um, by Rush Reactors is Xanadu and to me unquestionably the best version to react to first is the live video version off of Exit Stage Left. That is the best version. I mean, that's the best version of all, in my opinion. And uh, there'll be a, a a card appearing at the top showing how I, react, I reviewed that song. And I think you can do one of two things. If you're a reactor that wants to react to Xanadu, either react to, you know, the live Exit Stage Left version, the video, or just go to my link. <laughs> and you'll see not only... Will you see the greatness that is the what a three piece band can do, but also you'll see how they do it. I actually go through you'll see pop ups showing everything that they're doing to create that expansive landscape of a song that is Xanadu. So if you're going to react to Xanadu for the first time, it should be the live video exit stage left version. The Spirit of Radio. That's another song, Rush song that a lot of reactors choose to react to. And I think, you know, there, again, there's a, there are a lot of good versions of that song. But I think for a first-time reactor to that song, I think it should be the studio version. Uh, studio audio, like from the Permanent Waves record. Um, you, you can just hear it. <laughs> and it's a, it's a great version of the song, the, the original. I don't know if it's my favorite version of the song, but I think for a first-time reviewer or a first-time reactor, 
that's a great one. And there is an animated version. Uh, don't watch that one first because you'll be too distracted. <laughs> um, you, you can watch that after you watch just the original studio version, the audio version. Uh, that is a great version to react to first. You're going to love it. Another song that a lot of Rush reactors react to for the first time, Red Barchetta. That's off of the Moving Pictures 1981 release. And I think the best version to react to for that song is the Exit Stage Left live video version. Um, yeah, that's the best version. <laughs> um, I think it took the song a ho uh, to a whole other level Rush did when they played it live on Exit Stage Left. The song on the studio, the studio version of the song is pretty good, but I think not only will you get to see how well played that song is live off of Exit Stage Left, but the, you know, the lyrics, how Giddy sings it, it's crystal clear. The story is a fantastic story, and the way the three guys portray it, not only instrumentally, but vocally, and the lyrics, you'll hear them pretty well, and it's it's an experience. So I think the best version to react to first of Red Barchetta is the Exit Stage Left live video version. Next we have Working Man. Uh, Working Man seems to be a really popular song that um, YouTubers react to for the first time uh, when they see Rush. And I think the best version of that song to react to for the first time would be from the, the live version from the Time Machine Tour. The version from the first record, which came out in 1974, Rush's debut record, featured John Rutsey as the original drummer. He was the drummer on that album only. Neil Peart appeared on the, sec appeared on the second album, Forward. But it is a pretty good version, the original. But um, when they played it live during the Time Machine tour, I mean, it blew the door wide open on that song. And you can pretty, you can still hear Getty Lee singing pretty clearly, um, and it's not the whole song lyric, you know, lyrically he doesn't sing the whole song. It's just, it's a jam. I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic jam, and it really shows them, sort of like at a at a musical peak, for the age that they were. I don't think anybody could play like that, at that age. Or very few, but it's it's just an incredible display of musicianship. And just to know that that's the song they played at the end of the set on that tour, it had so much energy. I think it gives a, it'll make you have an appreciation for what kind of a band Rush was live. So Working Man, the best version to react to is the live version from the Time Machine tour. Another popular Rush song that YouTubers react to is Subdivisions. And I think the first exposure that a YouTuber should react to uh, the first version um, should be the MTV video version. <laughs> I'll call it the MTV version because, you know, it appeared on MTV for the first time. But it's the studio version of the song. And it's the video that Rush, you know, put out uh, with MTV uh, for that song way back in 1982. It's a great video. <laughs> I mean, it shows its age, but it's such, it's so relevant and... The lyrics are sung very clearly. You'll understand what's going on and you'll see how much, you know, it kind of a song that makes you reflect. But great, great instrumentation. And just watching the guys, the way they play in the video, you know, they're mimicking, right? But it looks like they're actually playing it. it they, they're really precise on, uh, on everything. The drumming, the, the guitar playing, and Getty's work on the keyboards and bass, his singing. It's just all spot on. And... You know, the story that's being presented by the video, I don't think it's a distraction to the music or to the song. It's actually, it actually augments the song and it really gives it a, a fantastic presentation. So um, a first time YouTube reactor to subdivisions, I believe the best version is that MTV video version of the studio song. So here's an instrumental, YYZ. And I struggled with this one because there are a lot of really good versions of this song for a bunch of different reasons but I think to for the first time YouTube reactor I'm gonna say that the studio version the studio audio version off of moving pictures I think it's the best first impression song for move for YYZ to a new reactor um, you know it's it's the song the original song it's played very well 
Um, I don't think it's the best version of YYZ. Certainly, there are several live versions that have their personalities. I'm not going to go into what they are because you, as the YouTube reactor who's going to who are going to listen to YYZ for the first time, listen to the studio version off of Moving Pictures, and that will whet your, whet your appetite to hear all of these live versions and all of the, you know, the greatness that is that is hearing that song live. The things that they include, sometimes they shorten, sometimes has other additions to it. But yeah, so for YYZ, the instrumental off of Moving Pictures, the studio audio version is the best one to be exposed to first. Okay, this one for this one, we're going to jump way forward. And the song I'm going to talk about is The Garden. The Garden is Russia's swan song. It's the last song off the last record, Clockwork Angels, which came out now. 10 years ago, 2012. And the garden, almost every time it's been reacted to, has been the live version from the Clockwork Angels live tour. And I'm like, no, not that one. <laughs> the studio version, the studio audio version off of Clockwork Angels, the studio album, is the better version of that song. Um, it's, it's just much more clearer. Um, everything is clear. The instrumentation is clear, especially the drumming is much clearer. The Alex's guitar solo is much more precise. Not much more precise, but it's just, it's cleaner. And what Getty is singing, you can clearly hear it. Yeah, and the live version, it's a little muddy to my taste. It, especially if someone's going to watch it for the first time. I actually think the audio version will bring out the emotion that is that song. And I think it will prompt the reactor to then go see the live version, which, um, you know, they'll already know about it. But I think watching it live for the first time, it's a lot to take in. A lot's going on. So uh, my opinion is if you're going to react to The Garden, react to the studio audio version first. That is the one to be exposed to first, and that will give you the best impression. The last song I'm going to talk about is another instrumental. It's La Via Strangiato. La Via Strangiato is their instrumental off of their 1978 release, Hemispheres. And there, and uh, I made a video about Russia's instrumentals, and you'll see if you watch the video which one I rank number one. This one's pretty high up there, but um, I think the best version to react to for the first time, if you've never heard the song, is their their live presentation video. But there's no crowd; it's just the three of them. Uh, it looks like they're playing. The, they're actually playing the song. It's not the studio version, but they actually. It shows them playing it live. I, uh, I think it's great to see how they play the song, not just hear it, because it's it's just awesome. I mean, it is. Um, you know, the subtitle of that song is an exercise in self indulgence. I mean, <laughs> um, it's a great instrumental. It's almost ten minutes long. And I think it's just good for the first time reactor to see what they're doing and to see what incredible musicians this band, this these guys were. And you'll get an appreciation, not just listening to it, but watching how they do it. So I think the best version to react to first for La Via Strangiato is that live, I'm going to call it live, but it's just, there's no crowd. It's just the three of them jamming to the song. Like I said, the link will be below. So yeah, that's my spiel on 10 songs that um, YouTube reactors tend to react to first relating to Rush songs, and I think the version of the song that they should react to. I think they should react to these first, and then, you know, that'll whet the appetite to see all of these other fantastic versions that are out there. And like I mentioned earlier, if you are a Rush fan, you've seen all these songs already, and you have your opinions as to which version of these songs the new, new the newbie reactor should react to first put it in the comments let me know and let me know what other songs too uh, and what versions that uh, these reactors sh should react to first which version should they be exposed to in the beginning so if you want to know what my favorite song is from each of rush's studio albums click on this video right here and if you want to know what video youtube recommends that you watch from my channel you can click on that video over there this is Omar of All About Rush. I'll see you in the next video.